hearing us on no. Facebook. On okay, Facebook, they didn't. Well, hear they us. heard us on Instagram. Okay, so they heard us start, on Instagram. Now you got to start all over. Who are you? <laughs> okay, I'm going to start all over again. Uh, well, again, my name is Curtis Grimes. I'm with the Grimes Group. I am the uh, buyer's agent of the Grimes Group. And my lovely wife here, Mrs. Carlene Grimes. So, so you, you, I'll let you introduce yourself since you. Uh, maybe. Absolutely, and it's it's March. It's a woman's. That's uh, right. Month. Well, so, that's why women's supposed to go first. I, I was like, <laughs> ladies first, but you threw me on the spot. But okay. Well, yes, I'm Carlene Grimes, and I am uh, the team leader for the Grimes Group at Keller Williams, and I am I focus on listings, and uh, we also have our daughter who's not on this call with us. Uh, but her name is Madison and she is our assistant on the Grimes Group. So here at the Grimes Group, it's more like a family um, that we have. And uh, the family experience is different from any other, okay? This experience is special because like I say, when you, you are uh, with the Grimes Group, it's like you're part of the family. So we hope to, uh, if we are serving you or if we, you know of someone that we can help uh, with real estate, hopefully you'll think of us and say, listen, I know a great family that you can work with. Okay. Mm -hmm. But the reason why we do that is, you know, not, not for that. We're talking about wealth building and we're talking about wealth building in so many areas um, this evening. It's not just with real estate. So, um, and Every Wednesday we come to you at seven o'clock uh, because that's the time people slow down, right? We change the time from six, six to seven. Six o'clock to seven, yeah. Because mm -hmm, people <clears throat> kind of slow down at that time. And we come to you to talk about wealth success and we hope to, uh, to give what we know, um, share knowledge, you can ask questions. Uh, it's boring if you just listen to somebody, but if you're able to type a question, ask a question, I think it's great. You it's know? all about the interaction. It's all about the interaction. <laughs> you know, maybe you do something in your life that builds wealth and we can talk about that, um, but we don't know unless you post it or you interact with us. So we encourage you to please post, um, you know, uh, communicate any, any form of texting, you know, uh, <laughs> do anything you want in order to no, wave your hand, you don't, know, don't whatever you need to do. This. Oh, don't call us during this, but yeah. uh, well, anything you need to do so we can start the conversation going. You have to ask questions, please do so. Mm -hmm. Well, anyway, so tonight we're talking about seven streams of income or at least more, let's say multiple streams, multiple not exa streams, not right. really multiple. seven streams of right. income, okay? Now, I don't know um, anyone out there if you have multiple streams of income, but if you do, you know, give me a wave, give me a, a high five, give me a whatever you need to give me, just let me know that um, you also are um, managing several uh, multiple ways of uh, income. And if you're not, that's okay. We're gonna um, give you some ideas tonight uh, that you can manage several different ways of multiple incomes, okay? Mm -hmm. So let's talk about one of the ways that we um, use income, go to se uh, several streams of income. Let's talk about one of the ways of income. Um, working. Working, nine to five? Nine to five, two? That's that's a, that's one stream. That's the most stream. That's the stream that everybody is pretty much used to is just, you know, going out. Everybody's pretty much taught to go out, get a job, go to school, get education and find a good job. Right. Do mm -hmm. like a nine to five. That's what you're saying. Mm -hmm. OK, so a nine to five. Um, OK, so after your nine to five, you know, there's still there's still some time left in the day. Mm -hmm. And even if there's not. Um, there's other streams of income that you can make while you're doing your nine to five. Mm -hmm. Can you think of a few? Um, cool. Let's see. Well, you could start your own business. You could start your own business. If yeah. you like, if you like baking pies, start a pie baking business. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Well, whatever, whatever it is that I, the best thing that for people that I think to do, 
uh, would be a suggestion for me would be to find the thing that you're most passionate about, mm -hmm. find the thing that you know about, Correct. that you're, that you're well informed about, mm -hmm. um, that you like to do, that you like to do mm -hmm. and run with that. Just okay. start, start from where you are. Start from where you are. That, so that would be my word of advice. That start is true. You but you said something very key there mm -hmm. and it's something that you are passionate about. So we have to focus on things that we are passionate about. And sometimes I can tell you this. I know for people, they hear an idea and they're ready to run with it. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. they don't investigate the idea. They don't research it. They're just like, oh, my friend was able to make thousands of dollars doing this. So I'm going to go ahead and do that although they have no idea what it entails mm -hmm. they have no idea where to start where to finish they just know that their friend is doing it is successful at it right. so i encourage you that if you're going to think about multiple streams of income think about it within the business that you're doing now right, right. okay so just there's different areas of that business that you can probably make some streams of income in. Absolutely. I mean, if you're a bookkeeper for a company that you work for on a nine to five basis, I mean, you have a skill set that you could take because that company needs you. So there's other people that need that same type of service. So offer yourself, offer yourself as the service that you are. And I can't, th I'm trying to think right now off the top of my head. Uh, one of the sayings that I remember from, uh, Stephen, I think was it Stephen Covey? It was some of Stephen Covey stuff, but it was uh, what was the guy's name? Come on, you 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 remember the stuff I that I used to quote? I have no idea what you're talking about. I and mean, you looking at me instead of looking at them. I okay, well I'm looking. <laughs> I'm looking at you. Because, I have no idea. Um, hey, Brandon, how you doing? All right. Yeah, we got Brandon. Hi, on Gary. Brandon, <laughs> He's Mary. looking at me. I don't uh -huh. know what to tell him. Judy uh, just joined. Hey, Judy. Good to see you. All right. Uh, well, you know, uh, going back to before he can't, he couldn't remember the saying, but <laughs> we're no, getting older. I, no, it's not. <laughs> Stop talking about my age uh, it's not it's nothing it got to do anything with me getting older but anyway um i just i have a lot of knowledge but i can't remember exactly where it all well, comes let me, from let me tie it in for tie you in. okay because uh, if someone's making fifty thousand let's say you're making fifty thousand mm -hmm. dollars your employee is probably making hundred and fifty thousand dollars absolutely i don't they know where i got are. that this week but i got that from somewhere this week something i was reading or listening to mm -hmm. so if you're making 50 your employee is making 150 so now you have to figure out how do i make that 150. Mm -hmm. so let's talk about that right let's talk about you made the 50 or where do i get that extra hundred from if I can't sit there and become an entrepreneur right now, mm -hmm. how can I make multiple streams of income? Okay. So let's talk about that. So let's talk about when we first began. Mm -hmm. And I remember that we worked, well, I worked a nine to five. You did too with mm -hmm. the city. Mm -hmm. um, so we worked nine to fives, uh, but we also had another stream of income. We had rental income. We had a rental income. Well, but, but that didn't come about until later. So that is correct. Mm -hmm. That is correct. But when we figured out that we liked rental income, then we said, okay, well, how can we expand this? So what we did was expand it to uh, flipping homes, mm -hmm. you know, and not really holding on to the home because we didn't want the renter. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then you well, got to think. Was nice. We had, we had rental and it was kind of crazy, but I don't want to go off too much too much off topic but no, i know it's, I, it's, it's instagram and we can go off topic all you want it's not it's, <laughs> it's, Facebook it's not and instagram it's not off topic it's not off topic but, it, but when you were talking about uh where we started from i was looking up some of the properties that we have owned and i put up a post the other day and i had a lot of people comment on that okay um about the property value because mm -hmm. we purchased the property back in 2000 for like $230,000. Mm -hmm. And looking at the value of that property today, it's like $720,000. So what's the equity on that? That's 500, uh, that's easy math, $500,000. <laughs> so <I'm> like, <laughs> no, that's, okay. Dude, but year by year, you got to think about the years. Oh, well, with, with, the, with the expenses and the percentage, 
Um, I want to say, I yes. want to say that's probably about, about 40, 40 to 50 percent uh, return rate of return on okay. your investment. Absolutely. And I think that's awesome. You oh, know, yeah. when you're thinking about it was for 15 years. So 20, you think about 15, 20, 20 years, years and then 50% mm -hmm. on your money. That's great. And that's passive income. Absolutely. Right? You don't really have to do anything. Well, we um, got maintenance. So we got maintenance, but yeah. you know, so that's, that's one way the rental property. Mm -hmm. And the next way you can make money, of course, we were talking about flipping. Um, and another way you can make money is keeping it all in the real estate game because we did like real estate, mm -hmm. right? Another way you can make money is let's say, um, Airbnbs, mm -hmm. you know, that's a great way to make money right now. If you go away on vacation and let's say you're, you're away for two weeks, you mm -hmm. can rent out your house for those two weeks. There's several sites to do it. And mm -hmm. one of them, I think it's home, like home away from home or something. I have to look it up and Verb I'll put it in the post. Verbo. Verbo. Yeah. Yep. So these places, you can rent them out while you go on vacation. So you can make money to pay for your vacation. Mm -hmm. That's another stream, stream of, of income. income. Mm -hmm. Okay. Another stream of income is, um, let's say that you uh, have extra furniture you know sometimes people don't like to get rid of things mm -hmm. you know so do they yard sales do yard sales mm -hmm. that's another people don't realize that that's a a, a, a stream of income but it is mm -hmm. because if you did a yard sale maybe once every two months depending on what you have available that's a stream of income for you mm -hmm. okay so also i sometimes stage properties have some things there. I could also rent my time out to someone else to stage their property and have a small staging business. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that, that would be another source of income. All I'm doing is renting them my mm -hmm. items and they can use it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I don't have to do anything. I just have the items instead of it sitting there uh, when it's not being used, I can rent it out to someone else. That's another form of income. So let's think about some other forms of income that people um, can probably do. Because right here we're brainstorming mm -hmm. and talking about things that you know that we don't really think about. Like recently, I was um, I was listening. I, I want to buy a new car. Here's the thing: I want to buy a new car. Um, if anybody knows me and Curtis, we do like you know, cars. I mean, it's not like we love them, like we can't do without them, but you know, we want to drive a nice car. Mm -hmm. So I've decided that I want a new car. And I said, I don't want to pay for the car. I know that sounds stupid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't want to pay for the car. It's crazy. Right. No, I want, I want no, something. I want to drive around in it, I but think I don't want to pay for it <laughs> because I'm cheap. Not I'm cheap. I'm, I'm frugal. <laughs> frugal. I'm frugal. Mm -hmm. Let's use that word. Mm -hmm. So I decided to make income um, out of this car. Uh, so I'm going to probably be putting my car that I get on Turo, mm -hmm. you know, to because that is something that while well, I can pay my payments by someone else renting my car for the weekend, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. now not everybody, it's not for everybody. Some no. people don't want, that's icky, you know, I don't want anybody in my stuff. Um, I'm choosing to do it because somebody made a good point the other day and I really, really um, enjoyed this sister's conversation where she was talking about just not being attached to stuff, mm -hmm. you know, and anything that you have should be making money for you. Mm -hmm. And I agree. If you have it, it should be making money for you. Right. Right. So same way, like <clears throat> handbags, if you're done with your handbag and you don't want it anymore, why not sell it hmm. online? Mm -hmm. Right. That's another stream of income. That's another stream of income, you know, and it's just like doing a yard sale, mm -hmm. but it's online yard sales. So what other in streams of income do you do, my dear? Let's talk about you. Talk about me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I think she has ulterior motives behind this whole wealth building Wednesday. Um, 
but uh, I, I don't know because she's always trying to put me on the spot. <laughs> I'm like stuff that we don't discuss. I'm like, you're talking about the, okay, me. Oh, wait, wait. Uh, Judy just says, yeah, I heard that's that does really well. Yeah, people I lease more now. Uh -huh. yeah, that is, that's, sure. that is definitely true. Mm -hmm. They do because they don't want to have the car all year round and they're not really using it like they used to. Mm -hmm. And then the payment, the, they don't have to worry about insurance. Well, you still have to have your car insured for yourself, but the app or whatever insures the car for you. Yeah. So, so, I mean, it's definitely a, a good option to have. And mm -hmm. I always, there's one joke that I always loved by Chris Rock. He said, if you got options, you are rich. So whenever you, whenever you got some options, you were rich. Um, but now back to me, what you were, uh, Judy said, pet sitter. Yep. That's another, no, listen, that's, another that's definitely, that's another stream of income. So uh, th that's the, that's the good thing about all of this. It, it makes people kind of start thinking about what their skill sets are. Absolutely. You know, if you, if you like pets and matter of fact, I seen something posted on our uh, community webpage, somebody asking for uh, a pet sitter, somebody, somebody, a dog walker. Mm -hmm. So there, there's people that make tons of money. Matter of fact, I remember in New York when I was installing elevators, mm -hmm. there was a guy that used to just walk dogs for people in one building. And he said he made like $150,000 a year walking dogs. Yeah. Yeah. So what about house sitting? House, house sitting is good house, too. House sitting. Mm -hmm. I mean, you I mean, and now with COVID and everything, people have, um, uh, other streams of income is like, you know, DoorDash and, and the, look at all of these companies that are coming about. They're so coming about. so yeah. you, you have companies that like DoorDash and things like that, that you can utilize to, uh, to make more money and create another stream of income. I mean, Uber, people would do Uber after work and, mm -hmm. you know, so there's a lot, there's a lot of things out there. So there's no reason for somebody really not to be working. If you really put your mind to it, you definitely can create a stream of income for yourself. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Now, now uh -huh. let's talk about you. Now. Okay, back to me. He likes talking about himself. I, I do. <laughs> I, do. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think so. Um, this is why I get him, and he can't answer me back because we're online. So he treads. He treads very lightly. So <laughs> I get him like this. Okay. So um. Okay. So about me. What, 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 I mean, where do you want to start with my streams of income? Yeah. Uh, some streams. Okay. Of I have some stock income. Uh, I have income from stocks. Mm -hmm. I have income from investments mm -hmm. uh, uh, business ventures that i that i do mm -hmm. um, think about one you know i thought you was gonna bring up the one where you know you um when you say business investments mm -hmm. uh what about paintings painting art artwork, artwork. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah so you know <laughs> he's laughing because uh um forget it <laughs> go ahead no, no go ahead I, I'll, I'll discuss it go ahead. Uh, some of investments we think are going to do really really well mm -hmm. um but some you have to just wait a little longer but it's still going to be it's still potential income for you mm -hmm. it just may not it, it may be called let's say delayed income okay so mm -hmm. let's put it like that and i i think art can be put in that category where it's not really um, an income right there at the moment, mm -hmm. but it can be a delayed income um, at a later time. Mm -hmm. Okay, but if let's say he wanted to rent it out to a gallery, that could be income. Okay, no, okay. I didn't even think of that. I See? didn't think of it till now either. See, we <laughs> masterminded. <laughs> That's a, that is honestly, I think, a very good idea yeah. because I do have a couple of pieces of art that probably would make its way into. An Some, art gallery. Into an art gallery. Yeah. Abs absolutely. And, and, but uh I'm not I'm not looking to sell it right now. So right. Right. But we can still uh like I said, it, it can be an option. That is an option, absolutely. Mm -hmm. To rent it out. So you have to think about um other ways. Okay, what is another way a uh, uh, stream of income that you can do? And just remember when we're talking about streams of income here, um there's something that you really need to look into. And that is because you're most likely you're going to be an entrepreneur 
in some sense, right? So you want to cover your assets when you're going outside of that regular nine to five mm -hmm. that you may be doing. So you want to cover your assets. So put your stuff in a limited liability company mm -hmm. or put your stuff, depending on how much you're making on passive income in an escort. Um, so that's very important to think about when you start earning money from this passive income you're getting because you're now a company. Mm -hmm. I, I consider myself, I'm a walking company, uh, but you know, on paper, uh, it's better to, to be a company when you're starting to make money. Absolutely. What do you have to say? No, you, you're making me think it's something that it's something that we learned a long time ago. The guys, I cannot think of the guy's name that we went, we went to hear him speak one time. Mm -hmm. uh, Steve something. Oh my gosh. I cannot remember the man's name, but anyway, it, it's neither here nor there. Um, but it discusses, you know, some of the principles behind building wealth mm -hmm. and having a mindset. I mean, that, that, that's, that's the biggest thing to, I know we're talking about streams, but if you don't, if you don't have the right mindset, you can't even get in the stream. I mean, your mindset is that, um, is, is the boat that puts you on the stream. The, your, your mindset, your mind, so your mindset is the boat that sits you in the stream because you can't, you won't go anywhere in the stream unless you know how to swim or whatever. I'm, I mean, I'm trying to use an analogy, but he uses analogies for everything. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> okay, so Simone said, explain a little bit more about LLC. We'll, we'll, we'll get that. Um, but <laughs> you might as well talk a little bit about the LLC then. Well, I mean, all of, all of these things, incorporating yourself, being being a business is where I was trying. I, I, I got to look up the information and I'm going to bring it back to you guys because because now it's it's bothering me um, that I, that I don't know it off the top of my head. But like I said, because a lot of things that I have done or teachings that I have had, mm -hmm. it's just instilled, it's ingrained in me. So I just operate in it. That's, that's it. But you have to understand, it's not ingrained in everyone and other people, mm -hmm. everyone didn't grow up the same way. Absolutely, okay? absolutely. So I understand that about it being ingrained, but now mm -hmm. in order to communicate that mm -hmm. uh, with everyone, like a lot of things I didn't know, you know, just, Five years ago, I knew nothing about an LLC. Like, so what? You know, what is it? What am I going to do with an LLC? I'm a person, but think about it. If you're sitting there putting your car on Toro and you're making money off of renting out your car, you can put yourself in an LLC to protect any of your liabilities. Now, depends on how much money you're making when you're renting out your car. I mean, it's a, it's a real fancy car and you want to rent it out, you may want to put it in an LLC or let's say you're buying a property. You can buy a property in the name of the LLC that you have to protect in case something happens to someone on your property, you are protected. You have a limited liability. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's the LLC. The S Corp, if you're making over a hundred thousand dollars, in an S, an S corp is probably better from, you know, and I had someone, I, I always really got confused with LLC and S corps, but basically I see it as more assets, you know, an S corp, you're going to protect yourself um, differently. You're going to protect yourself more. LLC, you're protected on, on paper. Okay, so that's how I'm looking at it in my mind. And I, I you know, um, you can read up more on it, uh, but I am an LLC. Okay, so I, you have to think about things like that. Mm -hmm. So um, that's, that's it. Okay, and the guy that I was talking about was Brian Tracy. 
Oh, I don't know where I, where, yeah. where I said Steve, but because it was, uh, I think, uh, Stephen Covey is where he got some of his information from, but it was about Brian Tracy. We went and we spoke to Brian Tracy. And I know it was a, it was a saying about Brian Tracy about talking about you are a leader of your own private corporation. Mm -hmm. You must continually think in terms we also know those activities that leaders in business do. That was one of the things that 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 I got from Brian Tracy. That's something that, you know, I, like I said, I, this is 20 years ago, 20 years ago of getting this, this knowledge. Um, you are your walking company. Yes. You are your walking company. Mm -hmm. That and and that's that kind of like ingrained in me because I'm like, you know, there's so many benefits to being your own company. Like I mean, as far as the world that we live in, when you when you pay taxes or or if you just want to have things, I mean, you can buy something in your corporation's name and get the luxury. I mean, it's yeah, I mean, it's like kind of like what I hate to bring politics into this, but you're not. So anyway, <laughs> we're going to move on. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna move, move uh, on. I mean, uh, you know, it's real, <laughs> it's but real. Uh, all right, I won't, I'm gonna keep this because uh, we're trying to stay politically uh, away, right? Just we're not we're not gonna discuss politics. Yeah. Because everybody has their own their own political views. <laughs> you look Judy's, Judy, laughing. Judy's laughing. I know. I know. <laughs> it's, it's all good though. It's all good. But. But like I was saying, what uh, you are the leader of your own corporation, and and when you have that mindset. But I want you to go back, uh -huh. okay? Because I, I want you to go back and talk about um, the same thing as far as incorporating um, yourself and buying things in with your corporation. Yes. Okay. So just like I'm mm -hmm. buying this vehicle. Mm -hmm. It will be used for business, Absolutely. my vehicle. And it's going to be used 90% for business. Absolutely. 90% for business. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because what I could do is buy a car and rent out another car, but it's going to be used 19, 90%, excuse me, mm -hmm. for business. Okay. Right. So what, with that being said, it's now something that I can buy with a corporation. And it's a write-off. Mm -hmm. It's a write-off on your taxes, and you get the luxuries of driving around in a, a nice vehicle or whatever it is that you want to get. Uh, you get the luxuries of driving in that. It's owned by the company, but you get to utilize it. And when you own the company, that is another plus because you are the corporation. Yes. Yeah. So you have to think in terms like this. You have to think in terms of being the, you, you're looking at making multiple streams of income, you have to see yourself as a walking business, mm -hmm. if, that, if that makes any sense. And also there are other streams of income like social media. Mm -hmm. You know, yep. um, people are going for vacations, documenting it, people are blogging, you know, people are doing so many things. Um, of course, it's time consuming. I always used to say like, wow, this is a lot of time they're taking, but it is also a business for them. And those ads are making money and they would be very smart if they make sure that that money goes into a, a LLC mm -hmm. or an escort. Did you have to say anything? No. You look like you want to say something. No, no, no. I was, I was just, I was listening <laughs> and uh, you, you were kicking the knowledge. Go ahead, keep <laughs> on, keep it coming. I mean, honestly, again, people, we would rather a lot of question and answer. We need the interaction. So I'm looking for more interaction because like I said, I'm doing what I gotta do for me, but I mean, we're here really more, not just to help ourselves, but to help you. I mean, we're not here to help ourselves. I mean, we're, we're putting in the effort of educating ourselves and to give the education and, and the knowledge that we have taken on to provide that to others to help them uh, attain wealth, because that that that's what that's what we're here for. We're here to help others attain wealth, whether it be in real estate, whether it be in starting your own business, 
what whatever the case. Uh, so we, we're looking for, for you guys to chime in a, a little bit as well. Okay, um, Judy is here saying an online sales tax is in the making. Okay, I don't, you would have to explain that a little bit more, Judy, because I don't know exactly what you're talking about on that. I, I know a little bit from what I heard on the news. Uh, so I, I think that's more what you're talking about. Yeah. Okay. So uh, let's see, what else? Uh, I think, you know, that's pretty much it. Unless anybody, you know, has any questions or comments. I mean, yes, it's not, it's not early. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, it's not eight o'clock, but no, we're only is saying something. She said, this is new to me. I'm just listening and taking it in. I'll get back with questions. And, uh, you know, that's true. Sometimes mm -hmm. you have to just listen and take this this stuff in because mm -hmm. it's over years and over time that we're getting that information. Just like Curtis said, it goes back. Mm -hmm. You know, where did you hear it one time, 20 years ago that you're into implementing it today? That's it. You know, and for me, I don't know if you're like me or anyone on this call is like me, but I usually have to hear things like at least five times to really sit there and say, okay, it's time for me to implement it. And on the fifth time, not only do I have to hear it, but I have to be inspired by it. It has mm. to be something that jumps in with me. It's, I, I believe it's the spirit telling me, you know, let's go, mm -hmm. let's do this, mm. you know? So, and, and that's what I count on and depend on as well. So I, I don't do everything that I hear. I don't go invest in things just randomly because I hear about it, unless, like I said, the spirit moves me to do so. Um, but I also do research because I, I don't gonna, like to lose. Yeah. But I say, on, don't just don't. Ju this. And on the other <laughs> side of not liking to lose, there is a risk factor in everything you do. So limited liability is going to an LLC is going to decrease some of that risk factor. However, you're still risking something. You're risking loss of your time, your money, you know, something is being um, on the line, is risking, you're risking on the line. Very true. Yeah, do you agree? I do agree. I mean, but with no risk, there's no reward. So, mm. so you have to take some risk. Um, so if there's, there's no risk, you, you will have no rewards. Hmm. Um, so that's, that's, that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, no risk, there's no reward. I can reward, I can agree with that. Mm -hmm. You know, you do want to um, be able to see the benefit. And a lot of times you have to take a jump or a leap. Mm -hmm. You know, Steve Harvey, I think you, you all <laughs> should look it up if you haven't. But Steve Harvey has a YouTube video uh, that he jump. talks about just jump. jump. So in some cases, you do have to just jump, you know, and take that lead, especially for things that you're truly passionate about. But with that, make sure you do your research. You know, sometimes people uh, need that extra push. And I think that was one of the things that Steve Harvey had talked about in that video that he did uh, jump. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, sometimes you lose your job and you feel like the world has just ended. Sometimes that's that catapult thing that pushes you to the direction of where you need to go. I remember losing a job that I thought was like the job of, you know, of my life. And it was, it, it, <laughs> it was the city. It was, it, was, it, was, a, it was a job. It, it was a job, exactly. It Not was, a career. Well, it, well um, yeah. Was it a, why wouldn't it be a career? It was a career. Well, a career, you're, I feel a career is not like you're locked into it. Mm -hmm. It's something that you do as a lifestyle mm -hmm. and you're free to do it. It's not like a, a nine to five. A job is something you have for that moment. For that moment, A career okay. is something you live. Mm. Okay, you all know. right. I never thought about it that way, but that's that's a good way to I look at it. That's all the podcasts I've been listening to. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right. I got to start listening to some podcasts. But 
I, again, like I was saying with, with the job that I had, I had, you know, a really good job mm -hmm. opportunity. And when that job opportunity kind of slipped away, um, at that point, I can remember back at that time, I thought, you know, oh man, this, this is the worst thing in the world. My, my world's, you know, my world is about the end. Uh, cause we had my, a kid on the way. Mm -hmm. Um, and I was wondering how in the world am I going to take care of this kid? But that helped, I think, propel me into doing, to keep going, to keep going right. and to, uh, Sorry, guys, I have to exit. Okay, um, I'm sorry. I, I'm like, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to keep up with with everybody online as well. So, so I'm, I, I try to multitask. Maybe that's what. I'm, but no, but that's the thing that the one uh, thing we talked about that the first evening. Yes, I know. <laughs> I know. Um, but that was that was that thing that kind of pushed me in a in a direction to start my own business because mm -hmm. I said, you know. I had to provide for my family. So I had to think of the next thing that I that I knew how to do. Absolutely. And, Absolutely. And I did it. So and that's why I said sometimes people just have to go out there and take that risk. Yeah. Like I said, no risk, no rewards. Um, that's right. That is correct. And you know, and it's good to see the fruits of your labor. Sometimes people look at it too, and they don't they don't see the fruits of their labor until much later in life. But you've got to keep working towards it to see it. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Good point. Good point. Good. Point. All right. I'm trying to I'm trying to give a couple <laughs> of nuggets or something. Like I said, there's not too many people interacting, so it, it makes it. You don't have your other thing up. Okay. Let's Did he go here. multitasking again? <laughs> yeah, no, uh, no, we don't have any comments on here right now. Well, that's okay. Mm -hmm. So, um, like I said, this is something that um, it was. It gave you hopefully um, some thought uh, to be able to process, you know, and think. What can I do for a multiple stream of income? Mm -hmm. You know, you may have, um, uh, you know shoes that you want to sell or whatever it is but you know you sometimes you look at that and say oh that's not a multiple stream of income but it mm -hmm. is it is because it's bringing you income and you know someone said something the other day and um i want to give it her credit her first name is noel mm -hmm. and i'm trying to think of her last name but i will put that on there as well uh, but she did say that, you know, there are times when you sit there and you think to yourself that, oh, I'm not doing enough. Mm -hmm. uh, but there's so many things that you're doing and that you can earn income from that you're not even realizing. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're, you know, taking, you could be your own Uber in a sense. Mm -hmm. If you have a group of friends that like to hang out on a Friday night, you know, you may want to charge them a fee to pick them up and drop them off. And I'm not saying that's the world that we should live in, but I'm just saying instead of them renting an Uber who they can't trust, why not they, why not if you're the person that mm -hmm. is not doing anything Friday night, help them out, that, you know? That is, that's a good thing. I mean, uh, I think that's a great point. I mean, it's so funny because like you said, where some of this stuff comes from, um, I was just thinking back to when my dad had a barbershop mm -hmm. and in his barbershop, mm -hmm. he started a car service business mm. because he had client, what he thought, he thought outside the box because he had, he, we were in Queensbridge projects and he had clients that lived in Ravenswood, that lived in Astoria. These are just like kind of surrounding areas over there. So mm -hmm. what he did, he said, you know what, let's start a car service. And not only he really started it more for his clients okay. to have, because he had clients that were like kind of disabled or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, so what he wanted to do was have a car available to pick them up, to okay. bring them, to bring them to the barbershop to get a haircut. So he expanded from that hmm. and ended up having what do we have i think two or three cars we had three cars and we had 
three three drivers and when my dad went and got taxi limousine commission and and uh you know we, we just started operating a taxi service out of the barbershop wow okay so so <laughs> so that was that was kind of you know that you was thought outside the box you got to think outside the box i mean so and we encourage you to do the same thing yeah you know think outside the box think about ways that you can earn some type of you know extra income, extra income. That's you it. know like all right like we have simone on here i wish i could get simone to join us because i'm going to talk about her mom right now so so maybe she will join us because her mom makes the most magnificent cakes yes she does i remember it's when good, i remember when uh it is good oh yeah our and she makes some makes she makes beautiful cakes uh when she did one of us uh, my next to oldest son's birth well she did all of our kids birthdays yep. except maybe maddie and josh mm -hmm. i don't think she ever did maddie and josh's she birthday did she did Maddie. Mm -hmm. oh yes she did mm -hmm. when, before we moved to florida mm -hmm. i remember mm -hmm. yep so her mom makes these great cakes but i think her mom also were i forgot what her other job was i just she knew, i know she worked her cakes. i just knew her cakes <laughs> <laughs> because her cakes are remarkable and she's simone says she still does yes yes um, she sent me that amazing black cake mm -hmm. mm -mm -mm. Well, well i didn't get none of it oh you missed it <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> ah, i'm sorry my mother was down here <laughs> I, I didn't even i didn't even know about it oh my okay. gosh but anyway you missed it it came and it went quicker than you can <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Simone is laughing, but oh, oh my goodness. Yeah, you but, may have been away that weekend when it came. Oh, Shoot. Okay. Um, it only take, took us a couple of days. That was it. Yeah, I, I had, it there was no so remnants. Good. There was no remnants of it left. Yeah, so, sorry. So, sorry. uh, tag, everything comes out when you Uh huh. Talk. See, see what happened. <laughs> Got you now. Um, <laughs> but like, but <laughs> what I was saying is, is that. <laughs> You know, take the thing that you love doing and her mom makes, like I said, the best cakes and she loves doing it. Mm -hmm. So that's a side business that can expand if you want it to expand. Yeah. So, you know, just you have to think outside the box. That I think that's that's one of the biggest things is thinking outside the box. Absolutely. Correct the mundo. Mm -hmm. What else do you got there? You got your your, your notepad there. <laughs> so I, I know you you always because see you're good with notes i'm good with here i i try to put everything right here so uh-huh you know okay so okay. put it down then all you right but i don't know what you want you. i don't know what you want me <laughs> well anyway i don't know what you want me to put down whatever you want me to put down let well, me know um one of the things that i do want to say is we still, i want i want to encourage you we still to got five minutes Am I am I talking? Yeah, uh, no, I was just you, I was I was telling you we still have more time. <laughs> what what I want to encourage you to do is please 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 start listening to some podcasts out there. Mm -hmm. Um I know one of the podcasts that's really good is um oh my gosh and I can't scroll uh, uh, through my phone but um Fire Nation is really good. Um, and Wendy Papazon's um, entrepreneur uh, podcast is really good. So the one thing is really good. Mm -hmm. I mean, so start scrolling through some podcasts and listen to it. You know, start listening to things and um, what is very uh, some something that you never heard. You know, like the Money Girl and things like that. They, they throw things out. These are people that are constantly doing things. Mm -hmm. And not only are they constantly doing things in their life, but they're surrounded by other people that are constantly doing things. So you get ideas from them. You know, you start reading more. You know, I challenge you, read a book every quarter. If you you're you haven't you know been really active in reading, find time to read a book every quarter. Um, even if, if you can, they say millionaires read at least one book a month, mm -hmm. at least. 
So start reading more or listening to it through Audible mm -hmm. because something is out there that could probably change your life for the better forever. Okay, I hope that we are encouraging um, you all out there to uh, do different things. Like I said, we don't know it all. You know, we're not billionaire billionaires or anything like that. But I can tell you this: that we've we succeeded, we failed, mm -hmm. um, and we've succeeded. And you know, we're constantly it's an ebb and flow. It's an even <laughs> flow. So it's it's a failure one minute. It's a success, you know, the other. So um, fail forward. Fail that's, forward. That, that's yes, and that's a very good things. book too. Yeah, fail, failing forward. Failing forward. Mm -hmm. You know, um, another good book is Win Friends and Influence People. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, you know, things that I, I want you to start really thinking to yourself. And if you need book suggestions, let me know. I'll be glad to give you some. Mm -hmm. uh, like I said, I'm always, my Amazon bill is crazy. <laughs> um, I don't, sometimes I, I do pieces. He's, he's looking crazy. Okay. So sometimes <laughs> I'll do, this is what I'll do with a book. I will take the meat out. You know, maybe there's the first few chapters or maybe I'll glaze through it and see the chapters that I want to really see and 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 read about and mm -hmm. i'll do that and then i'll come back to it or maybe sometimes i'll read too you know and depending on the mood i'm in i'll re i'll pick up that other book so sometimes you know by my bedside i have three books you know so think about doing things like that think about really increasing your knowledge uh, of what's out there because there's a lot of stuff out there I barely have time to watch TV because there's I, so much stuff. When you said that, um, I know, and I'm trying to think of the book. Give me one second. Let me do do dial, it, dial it up. Uh, <laughs> dial it up. <laughs> I got to dial it up. Don't put his age out there. Okay, <laughs> dial it up. <laughs> I'm wait till it's. <laughs> Like a, a million, think like a millionaire. Think or and something. grow rich. No, it's not think and grow rich. That's secrets no. of a millionaire mindset. Se secrets of a millionaire mindset. That is the one. Mm. In in secrets of a millionaire mindset, <laughs> I remember there's a part in there that talked about um, a thermostat, and the reason why I thought about that is because our AC had went out this week, and we had mm. they had the AC repair man come and repair our AC. But in, in that, it was mm. saying where. The only way you can change the temperature, the change the temperature of your wealth is by turning up the thermostat. And with that, I, I was thinking more like, you know, you have to be able to adjust where you want to be. You got to turn it up. Turn up the heat. You got to turn it up. You you, you know, not be uncomfortable. The, the the temperature is not going to change. If, if you're, and, and I'm using this as an analogy again, the temperature is going to be your amount of wealth. So if you sit, so, you know, we're going to say from 10 degrees to 100 degrees. So mm -hmm. if you got $10 and you want $100, you got to turn up the temperature. You got, you got to adjust the thermostat. You have to adjust the thermostat to get to that higher degree of where you want to be. Mm -hmm. And I think that all starts in your mind. It all, it all starts in your mind. And what I'm going to leave them with <laughs> is, is what I really, one of, one of the things that, that helped direct my stream of income, because we were talking about stream. So we're just kind of going to, I guess, going to recap because we're like, we're like at our time right now. So, uh, or or is that what you want to do? No. Yeah, right. let's go. Okay, uh, so we gotta be about, respectful of everyone's time. Absolutely, uh, it's about streams of income, and but always with stream of income, I want to say it's all mindset. It all starts in the mindset, mm -hmm. and I'm I just want to leave the people with this little excerpt, little paragraph that I'm gonna read, and like I said, this was with from Brian Tracy. And it said the basic rule of for success in your life, you'll uh, 
your work and your career is for you to see yourself as the president of your own personal services corporation. Know that you are a leader. See yourself as an independent contractor selling your services back into your company on an hourly rate. See your current employer as your best client. At that moment, see yourself on the same level as any other person who owns his or her company. You are the boss. You are in charge of the success in your life. You make the decisions and determine the direction of your own personal services firm. And that is, I want to say, one of the elements that I like kind of stamped and ingrained in me. Because you go look, you go look us up. I mean, if you go look about what we've done, mm -hmm. um, any corporate, you go look at the licensing that we have, it says Carlene Grimes, LLC, Millennium Construction, LLC. Who's the owners? Carlene Grimes, Curtis Grimes. So those are the owners of, and that's what we do. Mm -hmm. So, absolutely. you know, I, I mean, you have to be the boss of, like, and you have to have that mindset. Like, if you're at your job, like I said, I don't, I don't know what your job is, who we're speaking to, but whatever your job is, you are the boss at your job. And you have to be a boss in your position. I think we can end it on that now. <laughs> okay, you guys. Well, listen, we're going to call it night a night on Wealth Building Wednesday. And just, just keep that in mind. You are the president mm -hmm. of your own company. Okay? So go out there and act like it and get those multiple streams of income. That's it. Your, right. your boss is just your client. Remember that. Absolutely. Your boss, your boss is your client. So when you go into when you go into work tomorrow, tell tell him what does he need you to do? Because you are gonna perform the best service for him. Well, you're gonna look in the mirror. Mm -hmm. You're gonna look in the mirror and mm -hmm. first ask yourself, what are you going to do today? How are you going to succeed today? Mm -hmm. You're gonna first talk to yourself in the mirror, okay? And then you're gonna ask your boss, if you do have a boss, okay, what 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 should I be doing today? What do you need me to do? Mm -hmm. What do you need the, how, how can my corporation serve you today? Right. Okay. Okay. Well, that's it, you guys. Have a great night. It was great talking to you um, or seeing you on Instagram. Hey, Zulma. <laughs> <laughs> it was good seeing you guys on Instagram and uh, Facebook. And I guess we will be back next week at 7 p.m. Mm -hmm. And this is Wealth Building Wednesday with Carlene and Curtis and at the Grimes Group. And I'll talk to you later. Have a great evening. All Bye -bye. right. Good night. <laughs>